What's up, everybody? This is Jay Dioramas. I know that probably sounds irritating to some people, but hey, it's my introduction. Today, I just want to get back into some things I feel like I left out in this video that I did earlier today or yesterday, whatever. I do a lot of videos. I want to talk about how I'm going to unbox this, unpackage this emperor. So delighted to have it. So happy to have it. Check it. I'm going to use this Darth Vader, the fully articulated Darth Vader. I've been happy to have him for a while. Like, I've had him for some months now, whatever. Fully articulate. The first one they did like that, finally. You need to do C-3PO the same way. Seriously. And this is the Luke from like the 2007. He was the only figure I saw articulated back then when I got him. This is my second time buying him. I sold the first one when I sold my original collection. But I have a total new collection now. I love this Luke. You know, best one so far. Um, I heard they brought him back around. Matter of fact, I think they did in the back of the package. Oh, it's not on this one. It's, I got the cards somewhere. But so what I want to do is today is do an unboxing. People are like, don't do it. And the people who say do it, I love you guys. I love you both. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, just having fun. I'm going to get this bad boy open right here. I'm going to make the Emperor's Throne Room. It's going to be a small one. Just big enough for Luke and Darth Vader to pretty much fight my dirty nails that's paint it's not dirt it's all paint a little rusty from washing them all right so what we got here let's look at the accessories first i'm doing it a little backwards the cane the accessory hands that comes with the force lightning very beautiful i gotta get a look at them myself oh my gosh nice detail paint job very well let's get into the figure I'm not gonna do too much like I'm pretty sure it's a thousand people that have videos on this I'm just happy to have them so I'm doing my first unboxing these things are from Fortnite by the way these blocks there's like holocron or whatever let's open up that cape oh man he has soft goods on the inside as well beautiful 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 I didn't see all of the videos of other people. Uh-oh. Trouble. He does not have ball joints in the thighs. I didn't know that. Uh, he has waist swivel, knee bend, ankle swivel. Am I showing it correctly? I'm sorry, guys. I got a little upset that he didn't have the ball joints, so I kind of lost a little focus. Overall, he has hmm, good detail, waist swivel, head swivel. I heard the hood comes off, it does. Looks like Palpatine himself, all right. But still, I'm going to make the throne. That's the whole point of buying him, because I've always wanted to make the throne. And in order to make the throne, you got to have the emperor. So what I'm going to possibly do is, after I make the throne, probably donate it or sell it or whatever and buy the actual throne because I think that emperor does have ball swivel if I'm not mistaken so I gotta check out the videos again I was just happy to see the emperor or whatever but should I try the hands or not nah? forget it I'm kind of upset guys but overall I'm making a diorama for his throne here's the start of the process that's going to be painted silver. I already did a pre-primer of a gray. So it's going to go, I'm going to go over with a silver. Um, other than that, I'm still happy to have the Emperor. But I don't like the ball joint missing on the thigh area. It's not cool. But other than that, this is J. Diorama. This channel is not for children. It's only for adults. Listen. Peace and love.